Welcome back to Luke's Properties YouTube page. If you haven't already, please subscribe as it does help the channel grow. In this short video, we're going to discuss the reasons to get started in serviced accommodation. Now, the first reason goes without saying cash flow. So, a good serviced accommodation property can generate £1,000 in net rental income every single month. This means after your expenses, whether you're doing rent to service accommodation, your rent to the landlord, or whether you own your own property and you're renting your property out as service accommodation, so your mortgage expense, after your utility costs, after your cleaner costs, and any other costs that are associated with running the property as a service accommodation unit, you should be left with around £1,000 in net profit each month. There's not many other property strategies that can give you this income. You could be a buy select landlord, and you could be used to receiving two to three hundred pounds in net rental income after all of your expenses. So if you've rented to a family over a long term, chances are you're going to be making around two hundred to three hundred pounds in net rental income each month. And while that may be enough for some, it isn't enough for everyone. With service accommodation, you can make three times that amount. Yes, there is more work involved, but wouldn't you like to earn a bit more from your buy to let property? you could outsource some of the extra work to a management company and still end up making at least two times what you were originally making from your buy-to-let property. Another pro of serviced accommodation is it's quick. You can take on a property and start making money within a few weeks if you know exactly what you're doing. Remember, with serviced accommodation, you don't need to use an HMO. You can use a two or three bedroom house. The pros of working with a normal two or three bedroom house is that you don't need to go through all of the HMO regulations. So you haven't got to go through planning permission, you haven't got to get fire doors, which can be quite a tedious and long-winded process. You can get straight to work and start making cash quick. Another perk of service accommodation is Section 24 avoidance. Now landlords normally who have buy-to-let properties in their own name, they have to pay tax on the full amount of rental income. Whereas if they were to set their property up as a furnished holiday let, then they get to offset the mortgage interest payments against their rent. In other words, they only pay tax on their net income, not their gross income. Another perk to serviced accommodation is serviced accommodation management can be a no money down strategy. If you're just starting out in property, then serviced accommodation can be a fantastic strategy for you to then manage landlord's properties for a commission. You could charge either 20% commission or you could charge 50% of the profit. Landlords want to make more money from their properties on a monthly basis, but they don't want to do the work necessary. So if you were willing to do the work, then you can benefit from 20% of the income or 50% of the profit, depending on the nature of the deal with your landlord. Another perk of service accommodation is you never have to deal with tenants. So whether you're doing rent to service accommodation or you're a landlord renting your own property out as a furnished holiday let, you're never gonna have to deal with tenants. So that means no contracts, no tenant rights, no tenants who are refusing to leave, who haven't paid their rent. There's lots of rights for tenants at the moment that allow them to not have to leave the property even if they can't afford to pay the rent for a certain amount of time. This can be very detrimental to a landlord's property portfolio. If you imagine paying a mortgage for six months without getting any rental income, this can be quite damaging. With service accommodation, none of this exists. The tenants don't have any rights because they're guests who are normally staying on a nightly basis. No contract means no rights for them, which means no headache. They pay for the time they're going to spend at the property before they arrive, and they leave when the time's up. Another huge perk of service accommodation is you spend less on energy costs. So with service accommodation, your guests normally stay for between 18 to 20 nights out of the month max. So the other nights out of the month, the property's empty. Therefore, you're spending less on energy. So in summary, service accommodation can generate more income which means more money. It can save you money on tax, which also means you're gonna make more money. You can also save money on energy costs, which again means you're gonna make more money. You don't have to deal with tenants, which can be headache, and you can get straight to the money very quickly. Serviced accommodation is an amazing strategy, whether you're just getting started in property or you're a landlord looking to create more income from your buy-to-let investments. This could be the perfect strategy for you. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. There's more content coming. I'll see you on the next one.